you're about to tell us the details. I think we should probably warn the viewers that some of it is really quite gruesome. Indeed. This is an American unnamed source. Indeed, indeed. Um, Adnan, it is, it is actually very hard to describe that right here in television, but it actually tells us how exactly Jamal Khashoggi was killed there. In, it, it specifies the method of his, his death. I mean, in the beginning, Jamal Khashoggi goes into the consulate, and this is according to the transcript. He goes into the consulate and he recognizes a man. His name is Abdulaziz bin Mutrab. He is actually, Jamal Khashoggi actually know him before because the two spent time together in London before. And he says to Jamal Khashoggi that you are coming back. Jamal says, no, you can't do that. People waiting are outside, he referring to his fiance, Atije Cengiz. Now, and then the voices just go, it's just silent and the transcript records a lot of noises and in the after after those noises uh, the, the words come as you said I can't breathe in some versions it says that I can't breathe take this bag off my head as those men were trying to uh, se you know just suffocate him and then the voices just go off again and in the transcript it, it, it registers that scream scream and gasping and cutting and saw the word saw on those very uh, transcripts as this is the way how they attempt to uh, dismember his body. Now, one of the 15 men hit squad, his name is uh, uh, Salah Mohammed Al Tubaiki. He is a forensic expert, the head of the forensic expert team in Saudi Arabia. He says one of the guys in the Saudi consulate, when it is actually happening on the moment, he says that. Put on some music if you don't like. Just put on your ear pods just like me so that you won't hear what's happening. Here. What, you really... won't hear the body being dismembered? Exactly, indeed. As it says in the transcript, it says uh, the, the word saw. The word saw is a clear referral that they are using a saw to dismember his body right on the spot. So this is really horrible, horrible uh, details. And also, Abdulaziz bin Mutrab, he is basically the organizer of this team, the head of this team. He makes a call to one of the senior officials and he says that, tell your boss that the job is done, referring to uh, a superior as it's a clear indication that it was all planned and premeditated. The person who received that call, yeah. there were multiple phone calls made on that day on October the 2nd from the Saudi consulate back to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. The person who received some of those calls is believed to be Saud al Qatani. Now, he is one of the two people that Turkey would like extradited just for a start to face prosecution on those charges that they were involved in this mm -hmm. killing. But Saudi Arabia continues to refuse mm -hmm. to send them to Turkey. Indeed, that's the stance of Saudi Arabia since the beginning. I mean, Turkey uh, officially announced, uh, officially released uh, arrest warrants for uh, addition to these two for all the members of these uh, 15 men hit squad and they are as we know in custody in Saudi Arabia but Saudi Arabia continuously rejects all the extradition requests or all the information requests uh, coming from Turkey and indeed let's hear uh, Al Jubeiri the foreign minister of Saudi Arabia let's hear what he has to say about this first with regards to issuing an arrest warrant uh, we don't extradite our citizens. I believe Turkey's constitution prohibits the extradition of Turkish citizens. Well, Adnan, that would indeed uh, put the Saudis in a very bad situation because right now with the investigation, we know that Khashoggi is dead and just thanks to these uh, audio recordings, we know that his body was dismembered, but we don't know now who ordered this killing, who is behind it all. And in order to learn that, the Turkish officials, the investigators, have to question the actual perpetrators. They want to bring them to justice, hold them accountable, and know about it. And since the Saudis are not letting this to happen, it's just a big question mark, really.